The gentleman yields. I recognize myself for five minutes for questioning. Mr. Melito, I'm going to be questioning you. But first, Ms. Swine, may I suggest to you, Madam, I would likely not be welcome on one of your boards. Um, but let me just say I think that this would be solid advice regarding veterans and our elders. Just give them the drugs that they need. Talking about maybe 75 million Americans. Most of them don't use a lot of medicine, and most of that medicine is not super expensive. Just going to go on record saying this is the common opinion of a regular American across the country. Big Pharma has, has challenges with reputation, hearings like this, and unending lawsuits, billions of dollars. A billion is a thousand million. You know, Americans can't get their heads wrapped around that. And meanwhile, you got veterans, you got our elders struggling to get drugs. Just give them what they, what, what they need. You'll find it to be a win. Mr. Melito, you familiar with the Rice's whale situation? Yes, sir, I am. I'm going to be questioning you on that. America suffers from a toxic legal climate uh, for industry and insured businesses. This, this, is, this is well known, and litigation is a particular specialty of the modern era's weaponization of the executive branch against American citizens. When you have federal departments and agencies like the EPA, DOL, and NOAA working with activist organizations and recruiting and, in many cases, training plaintiffs, and those plaintiffs file lawsuits, then they sit back and wait for their, for their settlements. It's, it's quite a racket it's going after the transportation industry, our airports, our maritime ports, and oil and gas industry, agriculture industry, community banks and credit unions, trucking, rail. It's, uh, it's a growing racket, and it's disturbing. So today's hearing is entitled Unsuitable Litigation, Oversight of Third-Party Litigation Funding. And we're going to dive into something called the Rice's Whales uh, regulation through litigation, as you referred to it, Mr. Melito. So by background, earlier this year, a coalition of environmental protection groups filed a petition with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, to establish a year-round 10 knot, that's about 11 and a half miles per hour, vessel speed restriction zone and other vessel relation re related mitigation measures in the Rice's Whale core habitat area, which, which, which is a large swath of the Gulf of Mexico. So for Americans watching, you're talking about whales that were essentially uh, determined to, to use that area as their habitat just a few years ago by NOAA. This is the major corridor for commerce in the Gulf of Mexico. They're talking about keeping vessels at under 10 knots and, and talking about them not operating at all at night. It, it would be like a death blow to American industry. You think inflation is bad now. If, if these rules go into effect, it, it's going to be exponentially worse. So, Mr. Melito, you stated that uh, the, the agreement – does two things, removes millions of acres from the upcoming uh, offshore lease and sale in Gulf of Mexico for oil and gas and places new unwarranted restriction on act gas, oil and gas activities in that region and targets things like vessel speed. Explain to America, please, why this example of regulation through litigation is, is bad for every American. Well, right now, it's preventing our industry from being able to produce the energy that our, co our country relies on for a high quality of life. It impacts jobs for everyone along the Gulf Coast and in states throughout the country that support that region. And it, it eliminates the ability for the government to get billions of dollars in funding for Land and Water Conservation Fund, urban parks and recreation, for coastal restoration, national parks. It has a huge impact on that. That's just a short term. In the long term, you're looking at an entire barrier put across the entire Gulf of Mexico from the Texaco, te Texas Mexico border all the way around to the Florida Keys where vessels are going to be impacted in a way that that whole region is going to have its commerce disrupted and that'll ripple through the U.S. economy. Thank you, sir, for that clarification. Um, Ms. Ms. Wine, did you like to respond to my, my suggestion for your board? 
Congressman, thank you for the suggestion. Johnson & Johnson believes in accessible and affordable health care, um, as evidenced by the fact that our net prices have declined for the past six years. I urge you to look at our 2022 transparency report that's available on our website. But I thank you for the comment. Yes, ma'am, and thank you. And I urge you and your company to look at American veterans and elders through a special light. They're treasures for us. Let's take care of them. I yield.